Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Let me show you how to make a spell candle for dream and vision magic. Use this candle in magic to increase your ability to astral project or lucid dream, or write in your dream journal by the light of this candle. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a candle magic series. I create 12 different spell candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. I'll link to a playlist for the series below. I'll also link to all of the materials I use to make the spell candle below the video. Spell candles are used in all kinds of magic and ritual. They're used in witchcraft, conjure, root work, and folk practices. You can add oils, herbs, crystals, colors, or symbols as you craft your candles to align with your magical goals. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. I began by weighing out four ounces of soy wax to fill a five ounce glass jar. Jar sizes are based on volume of the liquid wax. Candle wax is measured by weight because it's solid before it's melted. Four ounces of wax by weight fits in a five ounce jar by volume. Search online for the amount of wax you need for the container size you're using for your candle. I've created a Book of Shadows page for this spell candle recipe. It explains the magical correspondences of the color, the herbs, and the crystals in this candle. If you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. As you make your candle, melt your wax slowly over a low heat, and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. Another option to melt your wax slowly and safely is to use a double boiler setup. As you wait for the wax to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the liquid. When making your own dreams and visions spell candle, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand that provide the effects you want in your candle. You do not have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients you want inside your candle. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything to the wax. I'll be adding four herbs into my wax. These herbs were chosen because they magically correspond to sleeping, dreams, or astral travel. The first ingredient is mugwort. Mugwort is linked to the power of the moon and the goddess Artemis. This herb is renowned among witches for its ability to intensify dreams, visions, and astral travel experiences. Pregnant or nursing women should avoid using mugwort. The second ingredient is hops. In magical workings, hops are predominantly used for sleep due to their natural soporific qualities. This plant is used in sleep magic and divination related to dreaming. I want to make sure that these herbs are ground up very finely to almost a powdery consistency before adding them into the wax. So I'm using a spice grinder. When creating your candles, make sure to grind up any plant matter to help it incorporate into the wax. You do not want a large flower or leaf in your wax that might catch fire or make the candle burn unevenly or unsafely.
The next ingredient is lavender. Its purple flowers inspire psychic activity and dream recall. Lavender is an aromatic, flowery herb known for its calming nature and a beneficial influence on sleep. And the final addition are poppy seeds. The Latin name for the poppy flower, Popover somniferum, means sleep-inducing. Interestingly, all parts of this plant are toxic except for the seeds. In magic, poppy seeds are often used to aid sleep, as well as to attract love. Poppy seeds also make a particularly good offering for the dead. You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is an optional step as many people like to leave their candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using lavender essential oil. This will bring a bit more of the magic of lavender into the candle and my home. Once you've included all the ingredients you want inside the candle, it's time to add a color. I'm using a color that corresponds to the kind of magic I will do with my candle. In this case, for working with dreams and visions, I'm adding a few drops of purple to create a light purple candle. In color magic, the color purple corresponds to royalty, magic power, intuition, and dream work. Use purple in magical workings to empower your magical self, work dream magic, or astral project. Work with purple to get in touch with your intuition. The wax will lighten as it cools, which will lighten whatever color you've added. Make sure to add enough colorant to the wax to make the liquid appear darker than the final color you desire. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container you're using to hold your candle. Make sure that you use a fire safe container and never use plastic or anything flammable. I've chosen a jar that has a wide opening so that I can add my ingredients to the top of the candle artfully to make it aesthetically pleasing. It's easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I'm putting a small piece of double sided tape on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it into the jar. I'm using two chopsticks, one on each side of the wick, and a binder clip to ensure that the wick stays centered in the jar and to create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You could also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer, or use a clothespin to hold the wick, whatever you have at home that works with your container. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle. Once the wax is cooled, you can add ingredients to the top of the candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter and gemstones to the top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. I decided to use a pale purple glitter on the top of this candle. I'm also adding labradorite gemstones to the top of the candle. Labradorite is a mystical gemstone known to enhance mental clarity and bring about transformation. It's a color changing gemstone that's excellent for strengthening intuition, promoting psychic abilities, and revealing the truth behind illusion. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use this spell candle. It's perfect to burn during spell work to increase your ability to astral project or lucid dream. Burn this candle during divination when determining the meanings and messages sent in dreams. 
or you may wish to write in your dream journal by the light of this candle. However, never fall asleep with a candle burning. Focus energy towards visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, you may wish to remove the gemstones which are now infused with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. Always practice fire safety when burning any candles. I've left some important fire safety tips below the video.